Hello everybody, we are back playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Last episode, we hung out with Yuri a little bit more, um, and explored Sayori's depression, was, which was very sad, but also very interesting. And contrasting to the music in the background right now, I think things are going to take a really harsh turn in this video. I don't know why, I just feel like something really bad is going to happen. So yeah, let's just get right into it why don't we oh man oh man oh man oh man oh man it's the day of the festival of all days i expected this to be the one where i'd be walking to school with sayori but sayori isn't answering her phone i considered going to her house to wake her up but i decided that's a little too much if I i'm predicting something right now in my head i really don't want to say out loud because it's a really dark thought if it happens, I will tell you guys. Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry, and I, I gently rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I assured her, reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited to, it, for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. And Monica and uh, Natsuki too. Actually, I'm not sure if Natsuki would want to spend time with us but knowing monica i'm sure the event will be great too then you're the first one here thanks for being early uh am i okay never mind i thought i thought uh the audio wasn't working that's funny i thought at least yuri would be here by now monica is placing little booklets on the, each of the desks in the classroom they must be the ones she prepared that have all the poems we're performing in the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. Oh man, I thought we were going to decide our own poem. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. I have a feeling that that's not what's happening. That dummy. You'd think that on days this important, she tr she try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday, and I suddenly feel awful knowing that it's nearly not that simple to her. I only say it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. Yeah, you probably should have. Uh, you should take a little responsibility for her, Vin. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. But I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? Well, I mean, if you're like the closest friend to her and she usually confides in you, then you know she's going to go confide in somebody else if uh, the problem is about you, which I'm assuming it is. About how I basically turned down her confession, that makes me really seem like the bad guy here. But I'm the one who knows what's best for her, right? Maybe not. Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Huh? Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly, neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. Uh-oh. It's one that I haven't read before. Oh my days. Uh, get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head. Get out of my head. Get out of my head before I do what I know is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said. Who is she said to me? Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just keeps moving. Whoa. Okay, then. Uh, what is this? 
I mean, I know it's about me, but Jesus, man, I, yeah. I guess that feeling that I had before the video started, it was uh, justified. Read the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Finn, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else I already written. But more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm going to go get Sayori, so... Uh, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? Uh, oh, something bad is gonna happen. I already fucking know. I quickly leave the classroom. The absence of music is also adding to the whole, like, feeling I'm having. This, like, oh man, I, I'm really scared, honestly. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. Yeah, let's hurry up before something bad happens. What was I thinking? I should have tried it a little bit harder for a second. You think? You think? It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Please, please, n please not go, go into her house. Please. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her feel really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs, and that's why I want to give her. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday, I opened the door and let myself in. Oh, fucking hell. I, oh my god, please. Please, please, for the love of god, please do not be what I think is going to happen. I, I, I really, really am scared to click the next. Uh text bubble sayori she really is a heavy sleeper i don't think that's what it is i swallow i can't believe i ended up doing this after all please do not be what i'm thinking it is waking her up in her own house isn't so that something more like something a boyfriend would do in any case it just feels right outside sayori's room i knock on her door sayori wake up dummy there's no response oh fuck. please 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 my heart is fucking beating out of my chest bro Please do not be what I think it is. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. Please, 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 God, please, please, please. Oh man, oh man, oh man. I'm, oh shit, guys. I'm like, dude. If I wasn't in these warm clothes, I'd be fucking shaking, bro. I gently opened the door. Oh my fucking god that's what oh my god oh my god that's what I... dude no bro dude oh my fucking god that's what i thought oh my god dude okay so yeah that's what i was predicting i didn't want to say anything Holy shit, man, I'm... Oh my god. It, yeah, I, I... I... I knew that... Oh man, it's... I can't even talk right now, guys. Holy shit. Um... Yeah, you could clearly see... Yuri's... I mean, Sayori's mental state completely decline. Um... Oh my god. Yeah, her, her depression obviously was way worse than anything that um, anyone could have thought. Um, she seems like she does not really have that many friends or people that are close to her as seen as like how impacted she was from the absence of our character. Holy shit, man. See now, now this situation. Uh, I, now I'm wondering what would have happened if I said I love you, Sayori, instead of I always see you as a good friend. Because, oh my god, dude. Now I'm feeling like really deep guilt. Um, fucking hell, man. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. Please don't be real. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. 
everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppress the urge to vomit. Yeah, I I also this is why I was gonna say you should have took Monica with you. But oh just yesterday. I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know it's best and that everything will be okay. This music also gives it a really like haunting feeling. Then why why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Turning down her confession. That has to have been what pushed her over the edge. Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I spent more time with her, walked her to school, you know, talked to her, and you know, not have grown distance from her, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. See, here's the problem with this line of thinking, is like, it, it, it's not your fault. Like, you can't change how you feel about somebody and you definitely shouldn't act like, you know, you like a person when you don't just because you're afraid something like this will happen. My I mean, obviously it's easier said than done, but my character really should have seen the signs um, before everything happened. He should have called for help. I, I, I think like, like, it, the moment I heard about Sayori's depression and she explained everything to me, I, w I would have called for help. Like, like some like medical professional, some psychologist, some psychiatrist, somebody to help her because obviously she's been holding it in for a while. And I, as the story went on, I just had a feeling that this shit was going to happen. So I think I would have done something, but I mean, I don't know what I really would have done in this scenario if it happened to me in real life. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can, I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. Well, who can tell? I had only one chance. Okay, something that did confuse me was on the, um, on the screen it showed an error message. So, I don't know what that's all about. I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 And... Okay guys, prediction right now. So, you know when we were talking to Monica and she said, uh, about Sayori, and she said, I probably know a lot more than you think, and then our character's like, uh, she's being nice as usual, but for whatever reason, uh, that sent a chill down her spine, and then Sayori's poem, you know, it, it says, get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Um, yeah, I think Monica got Sayori to kill herself. I think that's, that's what's happening right here, right now. Lock it in! What the f fuck? Okay, Sayori is completely different here. She's an amalgamation of Monica, Natsuki, and Yuri here. There's this new thing that I can click on and load game. What is this? What the what the fuck is going on, guys? What the actual fuck? Oh. 
What? Guys, I, 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 I literally, I, I literally cannot, like, process what the hell is going on. Some, somebody needs to explain this shit to me. What the f So where do I- So that's one of the endings? How many endings are there in this game? W okay, what happens if I- Okay, I now I'm just gonna explore some stuff, cause- What the actual hell? Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. Wait, this- This dialogue is completely fucking different. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but there's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall. Okay, that's insane. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would be probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with an anime club. Then, Monica. So th this is a completely different fucking storyline. I don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Do I continue with this storyline? Do I go back and redo the same exact steps I did, except I tell Sayori I love her? Is there any way to get Yuri? Dude, I have so many questions. I, I'm... I'm actually so confused. Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh... Yeah, it has. So I guess there's... There's a... Uh, with Sayori gone, it, there's different ways for me to get in close. I'm assuming that every character has a death scene now. Oh my goodness. I'm dude, I am actually my brain is completely malfunctioning. Yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably okay, I remember that text. Was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my lead. So her, having her smile at me, yeah, okay, that's the same. What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Uh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take per something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. Oh, so this is before the literature club formed. And now Sayori is in here, so... A, a literature club? Is the game just cursed now? Literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um... <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I could see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say... She? Hmm... And she... Is a she? Hey, Vin! By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Uh... I mean, I guess so, but... In that case... Is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but... If you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please... Um, well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. 
Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome! You're really sweet, Vin, you know that? It's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for materials another time. You're more important. Okay. So, this is the part that's really confusing to me. Because I don't know... Okay, so obviously it said end story there. But then we got this, like, glitch stuff. And th where the new game would be is, like, indecipherable text. So, is that, I mean, it's obviously a new game, but is that the conti continuation of the same pathway? Or a completely different pathway? Or should I go back and change what I said to Sayori? Or should I stay in this one and try to wipe up Yuri again? Oh, my bad. I, I'm, 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 I'm really unclear of how to... I'm just going to keep sticking with this storyline, though. Just, I, I don't know. I, and I'll try to wipe up Yuri again, I guess. Um, I'm definitely going... Okay, so I did not think that this game would be this well developed and like have this many different pathways. I, I assumed... Four girls, you know, it's a dating simulator. You could probably, you know, you know, just there's four pathways. You know, you get all the four girls. Bada bing, bada boom. Good game. But this is an exceptional game. What the actual fuck? I don't. There's like so many ways this could go. I I'm just. Oh my. You know what? I just keep playing and see what happens. And that's. Today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely vi visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back, and I brought a guest with me. Uh, eh? Uh, a guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere! Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Vin. Our words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? Whoa. Uh, no, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with a sad, sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me probably think she's probably a first year. Is there any way I can go back and have the game be like how it was at the start and then explore pathways that way or is the game cursed forever now? Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. They, the, dude, Dan Salvato and his team, I mean, they, they would have to come up with all these different storylines themselves and make it like still seem realistic but like like be close enough to like the beginning storyline to where it feels like eerie they did a really fucking good job with this game holy shit now i understand why everybody had i sorry guys i know this is a bit of a yap session but i just gotta appreciate this game like now i understand why everybody's like dude you gotta play Doki Doki. You gotta play Doki Doki. This game is amazing. Like, I, at first, I was like, oh my god, this is a really good game. Like, the story, everything just feels like it, the vibe is just the same. And that was completely flipped on its head. And I love it, dude. I love it. Yuri, who appears more compared, comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So, I ran into Vin in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica? Did I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought someone new? Anyone new? I was going to... well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Vin? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. 
Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Ma Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all the effort into to start something new, brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Do you just never get past the festival? Is it just like some like Groundhog Day where you just keep cycling back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and you never get past the festival? I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked really hard to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole oh, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea meet reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Vin, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read in the past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that could change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of the teacup with her finger. I, I think I'm just gonna keep doing what I usually do. Maybe I'll skip past dialogue I've already seen before. I'm not sure. My favorite ones are novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Actually, yeah, I'm going to skip past because I don't want to kill my throat with the even more voice acting when I've already read the same lines. I think the story is very impressive. It's on. She seems so reserved. I like a lot of things story with these psychological elements. Completely throw you in for a loop. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Yeah, you guys are going to need to tell me what you want me to do because I don't know what to do from here. Maybe, okay, so in the settings here, it has skip unseen text and after choices so is there a way i can uh maybe i'll just skip the text i guess because i don't really know how to edit it to make it interesting either so maybe i'll uh maybe i'll speed up this part of the the video okay that's new dialogue hey i just got an idea how about this I mean, I know she's gonna bring up the same uh, thing, but still. I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on responsibility of vice president after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Vin? Hold on, there's still one problem. I never said I would join this club. Yep. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna bring up any new piece of text I see. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Vin. The thing is... We don't have enough members- oh, okay. We don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need- Four, and I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. If we don't find one more before the festival, I'm defenseless against. Okay, so that's the same. I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. Besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So, if writing poems is the price I need, okay, that's the same. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, then? 
Yeah. It could be fun, right? Okay, that's the same. If you really let- okay, that was different. I just get past it, but... We can become official club now! Thank you so much for this, you're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone! I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Finn, I look- okay, that's the same. I wonder how... Because- okay, so if Sayori dies, and I'm assuming all the characters can die, what if Sayori and Monica both die? Because those are the only two characters we know before this. What happens then? Or is that not possible because you need four to start a club? So only one character can be dead at a time? I have so many questions. It's unbelievable. Alright. Let's... Let's do this. Let's let, let's write more poems with uh for, for Yuri. Let's do this, guys. I I'm used to this part. This part of you have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Hell yes! Oh, oh, this is like the black uh what's it called? It's basically you uh block everything out un un until you get the words you want. Nothing is real, question mark. Ooh. Cryptic. Okay. So I know that Sayori would be here. But it's only Yuri and Natsuki. So is there no way to impress Monica? Is Monica... I mean, she, obviously she's, she's leader of the club. But she, there must be different mechanics to romance Monica. Unless there's no way to romance her at all. I'm not sure. But anyways, there's only two girls here. I should be able to get all of them to be... Um, to be, uh, what's it called? Yuri's... Okay, well, I guess not. Uh, existed. Unrequited. Frightening. Okay, so I'm assuming the ones that Sayori likes would be split between the two girls intellectual agonizing memories okay natsuki likes that one i did not know that imagination adventure oh incongruent there we go all right yuri's gonna love this poem hi Gedvin. okay wait that's the same that's the same that's the same i'm extremely curious on what how this story is going to develop now Whoa. Thanks for keeping your promise, Vin. I hope that this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. I... Oh my goodness, dude. I, I don't even... Like, like usually... Great, great games subvert your expectations. But my expectations are so subverted that I have no idea what the fuck's going on. I, I, I don't even know what... Oh, I, I can't predict anything now. You already had to be dragged in here by Monica. I don't know if you plan- Okay, that's the same. But you don't take a- Yeah. Why is she in front of the text? Is that a glitch? Or is that- I don't know if that's a glitch or not, but- I'm sorry, Vin. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointing glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read? Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Wait. Also, the music has shifted slightly. Like, I... It's something... It's a, I think it's a guitar. I don't know. Like, there's a different progression in the song. Or, or, I'm, not, I'm not that gifted musically yet to explain it, but there's definitely something off about the song. Or not the song, but like the music in the background. Wait, I, I didn't mean it like that. Uh, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Ah, uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something. Why does the classroom feel more slanted is that just me i don't know it's kind of hurting my head a little bit i feel like she's slanted too. i don't know i don't know what's going on guys 
that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches in her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. The short read, and we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This part, this part of the background song, music, this is the, that's the part that's changed. Me not reading much. Okay, I was not crazy. The background did shift. Okay. I, I wonder what these visual anomalies in the story are supposed to be or represent or... Has everyone settled in? Okay, that doesn't seem to be the case. Space. That's two keys running around. Yeah, okay, that's the same. Yep, let's go talk to Yuri. You feel me? She seems to be on the first two pages. Ah, uh, crap. I think she knows me, but can't hear her. And we got this uh, scene again, I'm assuming. It's gonna be this exact same. Let's see. Yep. Okay, so I'm assuming the scenes with one-on-one -on -one with your- with different char- with the, uh, four different characters would be the exact same. So, yeah. So can you- so I'm assuming one pathway kills Sayori, one pathway kills Yuri, one pathway kills Natsuki, one kills Monica. I need to- oh my goodness guys, my brain. So if you go with Natsuki's pathway, Yuri probably dies. If you go with Yuri's- no, 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 no. I, I don't even know, bro. I- guys. I'm I'm so lost. I'm so lost right now. But I'm it's an exciting lost. Wait. Portrait of Markov. This is this is different from the first book she gave me. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. The people trapped in there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and asphyxiating them to Oh, that... Oh, wait. Sorry, sorry. I was reading that in my voice. Oh, oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm... I, I'm really into it. The, the book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? In this... That book is a lot more darker than, uh... A lot more darker than the first book she gave me. You already made it... Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy- Okay, those are- that's the same dialogue. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. We don't know that yet, though. I mean, we know that from the original story, so maybe some elements transfer to the, this new story? It's just that this kind of story is kind of challenges- Yeah, yeah horrible. But because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway, and it's completely different from... Suddenly, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I should... I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like book and books and writing feel my thoughts... My whole body gets a... I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. Is Sayori like... Like, like... A, uh, so many theories, so many theories, bro. Is Sayori like... Like now, like a ghost interfering with my interactions? Because her the text is warping, the background's warping, so... I don't know. Please stop me if I start talking too much. That's I really don't think you need to worry. That means you're passing about reading. I guess I can do this listen since literature club after all. Uh that's well that's true in fact. I might as well get started reading it, right? Oh. Yes. I mean you don't have to, but uh what are you saying? Okay, I know this book is also called is er this book. This game is also a psychological horror and horror, so I'm seeing some Horror aspects and definitely, definitely a psychological aspect. So, 
Let's see what happens. Yeah, are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's, I'm sorry, it's not that I don't want you to do. But then I never used to. That's his reading company of someone. I see. Well, tell me if I end up striking or anything. Alright, I'll open the book and start the prologue. Yep. Striking. Here's the corner of my eye. Actually, I guess over to make sure you're reading what the book said. Sorry. What? Okay, I'm gonna. This is gonna be a lot easier for me to see post recording and while I'm editing. I'll, I will stop the. Uh. The fr on the frame where it has the like full thing so you guys can read it too because I'm I'm missing a lot of it but it said something about body heat you can feel body heat I do I don't really mean to sorry I mean uh, this should work right I suppose so you're too closer on coffee let's try the portrait page here okay so this is all the same uh, I think so. okay this scene is the same it seems Longer spell, like this, this me. Yeah, thanks. It's greedy. You're no longer asking me. Okay. Okay, I'm assuming I'm gonna have different dialogue here. Oh, she has different dialogue. No, I don't relate to this character at all. Oh, okay, this. Okay, so this is where the scene changes. Definitely not. Really? I was just, th just thinking the way she second guesses the thing she says and all that. Ah, uh, that's what you were talking about. Sorry. I thought you meant something else about her. What? Killing people and mutilating their limbs? Something else? Nah, never mind. We didn't even get that far yet, so I don't know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Eh? Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Breathing is a little... My... Breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I... Didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out the classroom. What on earth was that about? Vin? Did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. Ah, uh, don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we get started with sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where- yep, okay. Interesting. I'll go with Monica. I just talked with her. Start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my phone. I wanted her to know I'm putting in effort. Hi, Vin. Have you a good time so far? Uh, yeah. I haven't talked to anybody. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, sorry, I had a thought. Because uh, the dialogue some is sometimes the same as the first story when the context is not the same and i'm pretty sure they did that on purpose to just you know make the like missing presence of sayori even more felt I keep that mind of course i'll be afraid anyway once you repulse me it's kind of embarrassing but i guess i have to ah, don't worry ben we're all a little embarrassed today you know but that's sort of very okay what is she gonna say about my phone mm, great job ben i was going ooh in my head and reading it it's really metaphorical i don't know why but i expect you i guess i don't know it's okay this will all be the same what does monica's writing tip of the day change ready for it I sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is totally detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing though. But sometimes I get an impression that she's totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for some alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm glad that you took all the time you need. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should go get my poem now. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. Okay, let's see if her poem is the, the exact same. I I don't see why it... 
Okay, hold up. I'm fairly certain that this poem is different. I am fairly certain that it's different. Yes, it's definitely different. Hole in the wall, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings. But my burned eyes no can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Wait. Are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantically scrawling, playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. That seems like it's from the perspective of Sayori. Okay, that's the exact same, I think. Yeah, this is the exact same. I'm not sure, but I, don't, I guess you can say, okay, that's the same. Epiphany, yeah, I've heard of this talk about. I've been different. Okay, I'm trying to write a poem. You try so hard to make a perfect universe. Okay, this is the exact same. This is the exact same. Okay, okay. Yep. Morning's writing tip of the day is the exact same. Okay, I'll show my poem to Yuri now. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes light. Exceptional. That's the same. This is the same. Uh, uh, it's gonna hate me. Um, I still don't know if that's being whispered or like she's thinking that or whatever. You didn't do anything wrong. That's, I guess you're right. What am I getting to understand? Ah. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Uh, this is the same. First time. Yep. Okay. Remember that? I just meant, um, yeah. Okay, this is the result they would tell. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay, this is the exact same too. Okay, so this is the exact same. The exact same. I'm pretty sure this whole interaction would be the exact same. The relief, I'll start a poem, there's no too sure I use the right poem. I'm glad you liked it, I'll be honest, it's the first time sharing. It's easy, I guess it's both, I need to go to Siri, I guess it's okay, let me just skip this part, cause... Okay, now we have to share with Natsuki. Then, if you're not going to take this cup seriously, then go, just go home. What? Harsh. What? You expect me to believe you actually put effort into this? Do you think I'm stupid? I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, yeah, but I did put in the effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Oh, that's a good comeback, I'm not even gonna lie. Painful to think about? Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. Oh, I did not think she would say that. I, I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, it's each their own, I guess. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. Knowing you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Okay, same poem. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. Okay, this- Okay, now this part of the interaction is the same. I noticed that Natsuki does not seem to glitch as much as Yuri and Monica do, especially Yuri. So maybe it does remember what I did in first playthrough. Cause I like Yuri in that one and Sayori, you know, killed herself cause of that. So maybe Sayori is still mad at or she's mad at yuri in this one i'm confused phew i guess that's everyone i go through the room that's a little more stressful okay yes 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 she writes something in her notebook my eyes land on yuri okay that part was different in the song too they gingerly oh okay this this part i remember this part okay what's with this language um did you say s oh oh um did you say something Oh, it's nothing. I guess we say it's fancy. Yep, there's a few. Yep, this is- Okay, now this part is the same. What's this? What did it? Okay, so she said Monica liked it instead of Sayori, I think. This one. Offer it, yep, yep. I like my phone too, you know, you don't want me to do the press yep, okay. Uh, this part is the same. Yep. Maybe you're just jealous. Ooh, cat fight. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. I remember they were getting kissy. You know what? I was the one whose boobs. Um, that's sticky. That's a little. 
And Sayori's not here to defuse the situation. Oh! To take a... I didn't... I did not realize... I did not read that fast enough, but it says something about acting immature. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's, look who's talking, you wanna be edgy, bitch? Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle's too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Okay, yes, so with Sayori not here to defuse the situation, it's going very bad, very fast. Most people learn to get yourself over this after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Well, be careful, you might cut yourself on the edge, Yuri. Oh my bad, you already do, do you? Did you accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Vin hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh... Suddenly, Yuri said, turns toward me as if she noticed I was just standing there. Vin! She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! Uh... Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm backing up. What? The fuck? What? Um... Hey, Vin. Why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? I'm fucking scared, bro. I'm glad I'm not playing this at nighttime, because I'd probably shit my pants right now. Sorry about that. They really should have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once we're done yelling. Ah, uh, some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be more assertive sometimes. A little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly Natsuki runs out of the classroom. She's crying. She quickly runs away. What the fuck? I don't know why I'm like talking more rapidly. I, I, I guess the story is just like... I mean... I feel like the story's like hitting me like a fucking sledgehammer. So maybe that's why I'm reacting that way. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is walk rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki or did. Then please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. Dude, this, uh, the absence of music just makes the game so fucking creepy, dude. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all, all about it by tomorrow. I don't think that's gonna happen. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to say a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It, it, it's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Vin. It would be embarrassing with you listening. Ah. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I I'm sorry for causing trouble. What the fuck? Um. Hold on, I'm gonna. S All my slots disappeared. What the? What? I'm so lost right now, guys. I, I suicide's on here now. That seems. Uh, guys, I'm 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 like I, I'm so like I I I, I don't know what's happening. I I I, I really don't. I. I I, I really am just, I, I'm, I'm just lost, dude. I, I
What? What? Okay, so, so the day ended. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting. The last couple of days. Welcome back, Vin. Ah, hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Without Sayori mediating it, of course, it's to change that dynamic. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I... Okay, I'm gonna try to slow down the pace and go back to my usual pacing. I'm sorry, guys. I'm... Again, I'm just... Again, I, I'm, I'm like... It's... It, 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 it's, just, it's just sorry. It's, it's a big change. I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Atsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little ex extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had, I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you didn't really mean it. Ah, uh, Ben, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you've joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around and... Ah, uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Yuri's cle clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. Me too. Honestly, I'm very shocked. No, I, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday, I, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it's nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But... I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. Heh <laughs> No, no, not at all. I don't hate you. Uh, well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. <laughs> Asuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Asuki was. I, I was not. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Ah, uh, well... My last period today was study hall. And to be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. Uh, that makes no sense though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I was sure you. I was aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Oh, well thanks Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Ah, uh, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not done, quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? I, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I need some water. I'm messing up Monica's voice a whole lot. In that case, I won't let you down, Vin. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, uh, don't worry. I was hoping I could share it with you anyway. 
I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks! So, I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not... not really. I chose not to bring up anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off to, into the closet. I thought we were in the closet. Then, um... Since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I, I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I plan on it anyway. Okay. This is a new character sprite. And she had a lot of different character sprites during that scene. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see that you have so much energy. Y yeah, but I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes out a deep breath, then pulls out a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Can we stay on the... Oh. Do you mind if I speak first at all? Thanks very much. If there's one thing I can agree, that's going to be for yourself as well. You want this for a second? Sure. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same. I'm going to give me some water. Yep, this is... This is the ex... No, no, this is not the... Th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Picture at hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to look for her. What the fuck is going on? Let's see. Most logical place for you here. Why do I feel like something scary is going to happen right now? And I'm going to like shit my pants. Most logical place for you to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha. 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 What's that noise? Coming from around the corner. Sounds like breathing. Oh. Ha. <sighs> A sharp inhale. Like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? Um... Okay, now my heart's beating again, and I'm very fucking scared. I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Yeah. I, I... Again, I would like to pause and slow-mo its post-editing, I mean post-recording. So, Yuri cut her s- It looked like her arm was bleeding and cut. W was that self-inflicted? Was that Sayori doing that? Was What the fuck is going on? Okay, so now we're rewinded and she's back instead of doing all that. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Ben, do you like oolong tea? I think it's fine. You really do this, of course. What? I, okay, I've never. Okay, so yeah, this is this is the same conversation. But I never, ever said, in this new game, that I wish she expressed herself more. I've never done that in this part of the game. Let's see who's around anyway. It's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself. You're always worrying about me, then. Except we've only been here for one day. That's. Oh wait, no, 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 I think this is normal. Sorry guys, this is very confusing to me. I want to figure this shit out. A little bit easier on my back here. No worries. 
Back living, is that so? Uh, okay. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. So, 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 so. I remember this, te this part of the, this part of the story, this part of the text. Um, I thought they were making a sex joke about her back pain. But now that I saw that bleeding scene, there must be a deeper reasoning behind this. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Two. Oh my god. Whew. Okay, so, uh, uh, dude. That's actually c really cool that I threw like little hints like that really early on. Yes, I have terrible reading posture. What could be causing her the back pain then? Um... Uh, guys, I'm... What? Okay, so this is the same. Okay, so this scene should be the same? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. The music stop. Why why did the music stop? So he starts to breathe heavily. I I can't then. Suddenly Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Then my heart my heart won't stop pounding, Vin. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Vin? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Uh. 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 Oh. Oh. Dude, I'm playing this in complete fucking daytime, and uh, oh my god, if that was night, I would have screamed like a little bitch. Okay, okay so that was frightening. Okay. Um. Well, I wanted Yuri to be into me. Uh, I don't know what that was. Um, it's time to share poems. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to Natsuki first. Just distance myself from Yuri a little bit. Okay. Yeah, just as I thought. Finn, come on. I'm not stupid. I know much how, how much time you've been spending with Yuri. It's obvious you care more about her impressing her than trying to improve your writing. To put it bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Why are you even in this club, Vin? Honestly, I thought getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together. Not exclude each other even more. This is such a stupid activity anyway. Look, I'm not in a good mood today. And I just really don't feel like talking right now. Please go away. Okay, then. Then I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. Oh, uh, what's going on now? I didn't want to... Why does she look angry? Um, I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she f finds a- uh, um, 
oh, that's why she's into pocket knives. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? Yeah, that is very messed up. She even brings a different one to school every day like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets cut some kind of high from it. So, I I understand. I I, I could tell pretty easily from the beginning that there was going to be psychological. I mean, it's in the it's in the genre, the psychological horror genre. I could tell pretty easily that there'd be psychological undertones to the whole story. But ook, it might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you you kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in my head, and I know how to treat my club members. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Okay. So this is the same poem. Except a little bit of changes. Save me the colors, they won't bright. Beautiful colors. Okay, so the U I U I O okay. I is A is not here. Okay, I think in the post editing I'm going to write the um write down the vowels in in, in here that we where they should be see see what letters are missing because i want to see if it like spell something or mean something endless has the e missing cacophony is completely capitalized the noise it won't stop capitalized squeaking screeching waveforms violent is missing vowels psycho sign tangent is capitalized these Oh, they're playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage, an endless poem of meaningless, delete her. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um, well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. I need to save. And, okay, so now I know why they have so many slots. I... Jesus Christ, bro. This... Oh my goodness. This story, bro. What happens to... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. That's Sayori, right? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Please, please don't hurt yourself. Yuri, please just, just calm, just calm down. You know? I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on your face. Do you like it? Then this one might be, okay, this is the same. be so happy it's so amazing to feel like i'm valued vin everything that you write is a treasure to me my heart pounds just holding it uh i want to write a poem about this feeling is that bad vin i'm not being weird right oh i gave her monica's voice i'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions i'm kind of embarrassed but right now i won't just want you to read my poem too okay What the fuck? Wheel, a rotating wheel, turning an axle, grinding, bolt head, linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a dock ship, 
a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox, expanding universe, true controlled, time controlled by slipping cogwheels, existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time devouring snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living human eyes, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, Exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time, a bottle head, a bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a dock ship to another world, kaleidoscope of blood ridden in clocks, a time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy snake stakes, breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. Ah, uh, it doesn't really matter what it's about. I'm looking so much stuff. Not, okay. I want to explore literally every single storyline, every new piece of dialogue, literally every single thing about this game. And then I'll go watch Cub Scouts playthrough, I'll watch Corey's playthrough, I'll watch whoever's playthrough. And I'm looking up video essays, I'm looking up what the hell that poem means, I'm looking up all sorts of things. Because holy shit, this game, it might be a rabbit hole, but uh, I'm definitely, holy shit. My mind has uh, been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. Uh, that is, a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. Ah, I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. Wait, 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 was there something? I couldn't see, I couldn't see. I th thought there was something red there. A joke. A man walked into a club. Is this the same, um, same thing as the blackout poem? A joke. A man walked into a club. In the club, there was a girl who liked him very much. They spent some time together, and then she liked him even more. One day, the girl realized that she was in love with him. Before disaster could happen, a third party intervened with her programming. Suddenly, the girl hated herself for being in love. This confrontation, contradiction caused the script to derail. The universe started to collapse, but she killed herself just in time. Fuck, dude. You know, this is, this is reminding me of um, Bring Me the Horizon's post-human next-gen uh, album a lot. Because it talks a lot about like how the world is wired and stuff like that. and. I don't know why it's reminding me of that. The universe started to collapse? Okay, who's writing these poems? Sayori? Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today. So everyone could come sit in front of the room. Is it about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something more than the festival? It's not like we can put anything in Okay, that's the same. Ow. Well, okay. Look, I know everyone's been... A little more lively hold up i feel like something's gonna happen ever since vinjo and, and we've started with some clever activities but this isn't the time for us to become complacent we still only have four members and the festival is our only real chance to find more you know what's so great about getting new ember members anyway we already have enough to be considered an official club more members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage true Natsuki, I don't really think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? Inspire them to find the same feelings? Okay, that's the same. Above. Should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival. Even if it's something small. Right, Finn? Uh... Oh, come on! 
You can't take advantage of Vin just to, to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Uh oh. I was gonna make a joke about me being a doormat. Uh oh. Uh, every time the music stops, I know something's gonna happen. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us joined the club with the other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Vin joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Vin isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. That's... That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Vin want to get other more members too. Jesus Christ. Right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation... Um... No! Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club... It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think everyone here saw it the same way I did? But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Finn, why did you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well... That's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact... If I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Ooh, is there a different timeline where this club never happens? If somebody made like a fan game out of that? That would be cool. Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that's nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being like that for me? There aren't. There aren't many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Vin. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I would have could have joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Atsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that agnostic sprat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. Dude, I'm very scared, bro. Okay. I, I do need to find a place to stop because I've been recording for a while now. But I'm still very scared. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibility. I supposed to stop at a point when the game just keeps throwing out new shit at me, bro. I I need to find a place to stop. I need to find a place to stop. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. What about you, Vin? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. I said something like that in one of the episodes I was like I I, I know they're like at, uh, like I don't remember what I said but I was like I know that they're all like romantically interested in me but they're like good friends like uh, it'd be cool if they all got along or something like that and for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else I don't think it's about how many members but rather the quality of each member that's what will end up making the literature club a special place I see I really agree with you what the hell? She's bleeding out of her eye. Each member contributes their own special quali and qualities in a special way. 
With each change in members, the identity of the club will change as a, as a whole will change too. I don't think that's a, necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your, your comfort zone in one, a while. So, if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. But I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. Also, and also a wonderful friend. Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Vin? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat with Vin a little bit before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow! Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? You don't say, Monica. You don't say. Ben, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel like I'm kind of res why is the screen doing this shit again? Oh no. Oh no, something's gonna happen. Fuck me. I feel like- I feel kind of like I'm responsible- Oh my god. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. Oh no. Oh shit. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a bit, you know, uh, sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because all, in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. Wait, not yet. No? What? Okay. So, I need to stop the episode. I want to keep going. I want to play this game until the day I die. But, unfortunately, real life and all that. Oh my goodness gracious. What can I say about this episode? I I, I mean... Oh. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Doki Doki Literature Club is now my top three favorite games of all time. And I haven't even explored everything there is to offer. Oh my gosh, dude. The, the whole beginning, uh, I mean, what the, guys, please, please editing Vin if you can find the clip. Cut to me being like, I, I know this, 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 this story is starting off very calm now, but it's going to just fall off a cliff. Even though it is kind of like slow uh, at the start. Like I said, I have a feeling it's going to just teeter off a cliff. Yeah, we are plummeting so deep. It's not even funny. I mean, the whole beginning with Sayori. Oh my god, that scene. Holy shit, dude. That scene was brutal, man. That. Oh my goodness. And then the, the whole game has become like cursed now. There's like a very like eerie atmosphere, and there's. I mean, Sayori's the missing presence is very, very much felt throughout this like new playthrough. Um, there keeps there, there keeps being very creepy and weird shit happening. Y Yuri's cutting herself. Monica seems very obsessed with me too. Natsuki is 
Uh, what does she do? Some, something with us. She like forgot about the argument with Yuri, and then, like, like Sai dead Sayori is like injecting herself into this playthrough, and then I don't even know where the story connects. Oh my goodness, this game. Every every uh, every great story and great piece of art. It got, it got layers to it, you know what I'm saying? It got layers. Uh, uh, the first two to three episodes, you know, very surface level, you know, oh, this game's cool. Well, I say the first episode, oh, this game's cool. I like the four different personalities. Every character is so flushed out. And oh my gosh, this game got some charm to it. And then Sayori's depression. Very interesting to dive deep into that. And I want to wipe up Yuri. And now Yuri's bleeding from her eyes and her heart's beating out of her chest. And oh my goodness, what a great game. What a fantastic, fan fabulous game. Doki Doki Bedroom Club is. Dan, Salvato, the whole team that worked on this game. You guys are. Oh my god. I'm definitely gonna be following you guys, following the, your projects that come out, especially if you do more visual novels. Because holy shit, this game is a masterpiece. Oh my goodness gracious. And I don't even know if I'm explaining it correctly or not. Like, I, cause, cause I, I, I am obviously not really uh, good with vocabulary and wording myself and all of that and wording what I want, want to say. Um, you can tell that from the first few episodes. But holy shit, dude, this game is it's something else. It is something, something else. But before I spend all day here, I need to end up video. I'm sorry, guys. I want to keep playing too, but we got to end it here. We have to end it here. Thank you guys for watching. Um, wow, I cannot wait to play this. The next video will be uploaded Monday. I will try to keep working on my commentary. Keep working on my editing skills and the quality of my content. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Oh my goodness.